So in this problem, they give you the pool, right? Mm -hmm. And they pretty much want to know the radius. Okay. So the one, the two things that we looked at was we said, all right, we know that circumference is pi times diameter, or you could say that circumference is pi times two radius, right? So we don't know what r is, right? That's the radius or the diameter. We don't know that distance across. The only we we don't know what the radius is, and since we don't know the radius, we're not going to be able to figure out the diameter. Pi is obviously our um, our constant number, and then circumference is the only other number that we can possibly use. And do they tell us what their circumference is? Uh, it's twenty four times pi. Right, so it's 24 times pi. So what I can do is I can just plug in 24 in for C equals pi times diameter. And it doesn't matter, you know, each one I could um, plug in for here. So now to solve for, or you could even plug it in for this one, um, 24. If I plug it in, 24 times pi equals pi times 2R. Well here, now to solve for D, divide by pi, so you get 24 equals your diameter, so that would be the distance would be 24, but they're asking us for what is the radius, right? Well, mm -hmm. half of the radius is going to be 12. 12. However, if I use this formula, you do the same thing. Um, divide by pi, so you get 24 equals 2r, divide by 2, and r would equal 12, which is the same part. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. 